I'm Dr. Spencer Green. I'm the Director of Medical Toxicology and an Assistant Professor of Emergency Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine. I run one of the busiest envenomation services in the country. Last year, I treated 78 bites at the bedside, and then through the Southeast Texas Poison Center and through the National Snake Bite Support Group, I've consulted on literally hundreds of bites uh, in the past year. Snake bites are, are pretty common in Texas. Uh, we have a variety of snake species, and we have a lot of them. Um, People get bit all the time. We have hundreds of bites per year. That said, many bites are avoidable if you just use some common sense. If you wear appropriate footwear, watch where you step, and never stick your hand where you can't see it, there's a good chance you won't get bitten. Death from a snake bite in the United States is exceptionally rare. Uh, there are fewer than 10 deaths per year. What we really worry about is preventing any long-term effects, either locally or systemically. You wanna keep calm you want to get to an appropriate facility, you should immediately seek treatment if you've been envenomated by a snake or you've been bitten by a snake and you're not sure if it's an envenomation. Treatment is best within the first six hours. That said, if you're more than six hours away, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you still want to get to the appropriate facility, even if it takes a day, even if it takes two days. You want to remove anything constrictive, any jewelry, any clothing. Here in Southeast Texas, where tissue damage is almost a guarantee, but systemic toxicity is exceptionally rare, I recommend elevating the extremity as high as possible, as quickly as possible, for as long as possible. This reduces the likelihood of tissue damage. Actually, we want to sort of avoid weight bearing if it's a foot or avoid heavy lifting if it's arm for a week or more. You want to keep the arm or leg elevated for a few more days because if you start putting pressure on it too soon, you can cause more damage. Treatment is most effective if started in the first six hours, but I've started treatment days after the bite and it's still improved outcomes. Sometimes they require follow-up laboratory tests, depending on what the lab tests were in the hospital. Other times they just need to follow up uh, either with their primary care provider or ideally with a snake bite expert. We have a place to go for snake bites in Southeast Texas and that's Ben Tom, uh, where you'll get expert care. As the only medical toxicologist in Houston and the director of one of the largest envenomation services in the country, you're going to get expert care that, at Ben Tom that's just not available anywhere else in Southeast Texas. Um, most hospitals have someone who's treated a bite or two, but no one has the experience that we have at Ben Tom. Uh, and that's true not only for snake bites, but for any sort of toxicological emergency, any sort of envenomation or occupational exposure or overdose. I'm proud to say that two of my partners will be starting in the next few weeks. So Ben Tom will have three medical toxicologists. No other hospital in Houston has any. So Ben Tom is the place to go for any toxicological exposure, especially snake bites. Mm -hmm.